There's disagreement over marriage equality in the Democratic Party platform, with some party members resisting the move. We have a date set for arguments in a new federal case to overturn Nevada's marriage ban. And an Iowa judge who upheld marriage equality has support from across the political spectrum, but is it enough to protect him from a new attack by anti-gay groups? At the American Foundation for Equal Rights, I'm Matt Baum, and welcome to Marriage News Watch for August 20th, 2012. We're one step closer to seeing the freedom to marry in the official Democratic Party platform. Last weekend, the platform committee unanimously voted in favor of the plank. Committee co-chair and Newark Mayor Cory Booker told reporters, quote, The 14th Amendment is very clear. Equal protection under the law, unquote. But some party members are resisting the move. Utah gubernatorial candidate Peter Cook cited his Mormon faith as influencing his decision to oppose marriage equality. A Reno judge has set a date for arguments in a case to overturn Nevada's marriage ban. The lawsuit was filed in federal court by Lambda Legal, which will present oral arguments on November 26th. Lambda claims that Nevada's ban creates an arbitrary selective bar, which violates the Equal Protection Clause of the 14th Amendment. There's a judicial showdown shaping up in Iowa, where anti-gay activists have launched a campaign to unseat a judge who overturned the state's marriage equality ban in 2009. Iowa Supreme Court Justice David Wiggins joined his colleagues in unanimously upholding the freedom to marry. He now faces a retention vote in November. But despite the anti-gay backlash, Wiggins is supported by a broad coalition of Democrats and Republicans. That's not the only big election battle on the horizon. The organization Freedom to Marry has raised $3 million for state ballot measures two months ahead of a deadline that they established last March. At least a third of that money came from Republican donors, and the funds will go towards races in Maine, Minnesota, and Washington state. That's in addition to a million dollars that was raised by the human rights campaign. Polling in all four battleground states is very close, so this is an extremely important time to get involved with those campaigns, wherever you are. Those are the headlines. Visit AFER.org for more on the fight to overturn Prop 8. At the American Foundation for Equal Rights, I'm Matt Baum. We'll see you next week.